Hello friends on this rainy day. I hope you are all holding up with the social isolation without going too crazy. Remember, it is physical isolation, it is physical distancing, but reach out if you need anything. So I wanted to say a word about this Shabbat, which is known as Shabbat Hagadol, the great Shabbat, which is what is always the Shabbat right before Passover. That's because of the Haftarah, which is from the third chapter of the prophet Malachi. And the very end of that Haftarah is this very famous line about how the prophet Elijah is coming. Ding, ding. That's probably the Pesach connection. And he will turn the hearts of the parents to the children and the hearts of the children to the parents before the coming of the great and awesome fearful day of the Lord, as the old JPS translation probably puts it. I would say the, the awesome and mighty day of Hashem. And, um, and that's an image that is really with me right now as I am spending a lot of the time, a lot of my time when I'm not working, stuck in the house with my children and in some ways getting to know them even better than I already did. And I'm also feeling more connected than I have in the past to my ancestors who had to celebrate and observe Pesach in times that were much more difficult and less redemptive than the times that I have lived through up to this point in my life. So I wanted to offer that intention of the prophet Malachi to us all as we go into this final week leading up to Pesach, that um, as we navigate what it means to do our own seders if we've never done them before, what it means to clean for Pesach with kids underfoot, or to be handling all this while stuck alone at home, um, all of which are challenging experiences, that we hold that intention of remembering that we are generationally connected, and in fact, even seeking what insights we might find from the constrictions of this present moment that help us to relate better to the generations that came before us and the generations that will come after us so that we are even more connected and more enlightened. I hope for us that we can hold that intention just a little bit and I wish you a good final week before Pesach.